Oh, hi, everybody. I hope you can understand me. I'm making debt. Oh, God. Okay, I'll leave this off as much as possible. I'm making death spray for bugs in my garden. You know, like white fly and um, pests like that that do bad things to the leaves of your plants, etc., etc. And um, part of the recipe is uh, it's not jalapeno peppers, it's habanero peppers, which is pretty hot. And um, I went out, of, I, I started it, everything got chopped up and put in the water. I started it on to simmer. And then I left the room for a few minutes. And when I went back in the kitchen to see if it didn't boil over, uh, the fumes just about killed me. Thus, the socks. I had, I almost threw up. I had to go in there like that. Yeah, I had to go in there like that to, um, oh, I just had an idea. I can turn the vent on. Uh, but I, I, um, came running back out here and managed to not get sick and I opened up the huge patio door and now I'm fine but if you ever make this spray which work it works miracles it really does it kills those bugs dead make sure not to inhale the fumes and if you choose to use more than one pepper or a stronger pepper, like Thai peppers, Bucalokia, or something like that. Um, oh, you have to leave the house and not come back. It's like it's like flea powders, you know, bugs, flea spray. You know, you have to leave the house for three hours and you have to open up the windows and leave for another hour. Yeah, well, it's like that unless you can kind of block off the kitchen. Okay, to make this organic pest killer, I think it'll work on something as big as a snail. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I get white fly and I get... Um, I can think of this. I really can. Mold. Not mold. You get killed out with um, baking soda and water. Um, and a little bit of dish soap. And I'm starting to get the fumes. Um, yeah, these kind of gnats. Fungus gnats. It takes them about a day to die, but they'll be dead and... You won't have a problem for a long time. And these very powerful sprays will not hurt your plants one bit. Not one bit. Okay? So, um, my beans already have white fly. Um, and they're the only ones so far. So, I'm going to nip the white fly in the bud. And how I blend... <clears throat> Uh, how I plan to do it is make up this mix and put a gas mask on and pour it in a jar after it cools and keep that jar in the refrigerator because the recipe calls for more than I can use in one spraying. So um, when this concoction gets done, you put one teeny tiny drop of Dawn dishwashing liquid in and that makes the spray stay on the leaves You know till it rains or whatever uh, But since all the white fly or fungus gnats will be dead uh, It shouldn't hurt if um, You know it rains the poison off this is totally organic, purely organic. Don't be afraid to use it at all because it won't hurt anything but the gnats and the flies. Now, I don't think this works on 
Well, I wouldn't even try it on fleas, not on your animal. No, because it'll do the same thing to them that it did to me, to their nasal passages and their throat. I'm pretty sure it won't work on bed bugs uh, or cockroaches. If you use about maybe five habaneros, um, you know, you have to make kind of a soup kind of thing after you simmer it or... No, no, if you simmer it, you're making a tea. But if you just grind it up into kind of a glop and um, put it in your super soaker, not the gun type, but you know, the big tank, if you're dealing with raccoons or mice or whatever, um, they don't like that because I'm sure it just burns them as much as it does me. And uh, I saw a man's video and he did that. He put about 20 habaneros in his, in his food processor and a few bulbs of garlic and he sprayed down all the leaves, wherever the raccoons, whatever plants they were attacking. And he put out a humane trap and um, he caught his cat the first night, but the second night he caught a raccoon. And because the raccoon um, would rather go in there than lick a yucky plant and die. Well, I don't know if it would kill him, but it would hurt him pretty bad. So I took my pepper plants outside today and it's windy. I said, okay, it's not hot. It's a good day to put them out because it's windy. And when you put your older plants out, like mine are a year old. They lived in the house for a year. But you have to strengthen their stems and wind will do it. So since they've never been outside, I could only put them out for about 20 minutes. Then I had to bring them back in. But if you don't get the stem super strong, then they won't be able to support the fruit. So, I think this is a good idea. Anyway, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> okay, bye from the garden lady. By the way, I really do have teeth. I just, I have to take them out to drink hot drinks. See? I really do have teeth. So if you see a big hole, you know I'm drinking something hot. Bye!